Hey, my name is Monica and I am the creator of CodeSync. I'm a senior at Wellesley College and I study computer science. And for a couple of years during my time at Wellesley, I was a TA for CS110, which is our introductory web development course. And this is the reason why I ended up becoming a CS major, is because I took this class. Um, so in CS110, throughout the semester, students are asked to build medium scale websites in teams of two, so it's a really nice collaborative project. Um, and I can't tell you how many times students came to me when I was a TA the night before the assignment was due, maybe 11 p.m., um, and they'd complain that they had overwritten each other's code by uploading separate versions from their individual computers to the shared hosting account. So as you can imagine, these students ended up wasting hours and even days of hard work, and it was really difficult to see as a TA. And tools without these flaws exist, such as GitHub. However, they're pitched for professional programmers, and CodeSync, the tool that I created, is inspired by Google Docs, where changes are entered and saved into a shared document. And CodeSync is a collaborative coding environment geared towards beginning web development students. Here's how it works. So now I'm on the login page, and it's very simple to log in, but if you don't have an account, you can very simply register by providing your name, your email address, and a password. So here I'm going to log in with my username and password. So after I log in, I am directed to my dashboard that displays all of the projects that I'm currently working on. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the thesis committee website that I've been building with my thesis advisor. And now it brings us to um, this page where we can click on the file name and it'll open up the file I'm currently working on, so document1.html. And as you can see, there's some syntax highlighting. Um, you can type in HTML and use inline CSS or JavaScript. So after I've typed in some code, it's very simple to view what it would actually look like live on the web. You can just click on the View Code Live link and it shows us what our document looks like. So if I wanted to save this work to my computer, I could very simply click the download button and as you can see, it saves a version to my desktop. When I type into the text editor, my changes are saved automatically and pushed in real time to my collaborators. My collaborator can then see exactly what I'm doing as I do it. And if I wanted to communicate with my collaborator, I can easily send a message using the chat window.